yeah one of the questions that i get quite often as how do we crack the gate biomedical exam i'll give a very very brief context quickly notice biomedical exam gate biomedical exam is getting somewhat interesting i have many questions on who is this exam useful for and all that a well known answer here right suddenly engineers engineers specifically right now for pm engineers this exam was introduced to make sure that pm engineers uh, can show their skills and knowledge in their field right but having said that there is a lot of intersection of biomedical subject with papers like instrumentation and electronics so if you are good at this in instrumentation electronics and right now the competition being relatively easier in the biomedical paper so all these engineers are kind of like getting it and actually i also get a lot of request not just from engineers doctors mbbs students mbbs candidates so those who have done ug in medicine they are also actually thinking of taking the gate exam so that they get some exposure to engineering or they can do some specialized topics a uh, specialized uh, pg program say in medical imaging in medical imaging informatics or some kind of data science uh, aligning with healthcare applications or something like clinical engineering and things like that there are some programs that need uh, engineering skills in addition to medical skills so even doctors are giving this and not just uh, actually if you look at the application brochure let's say for uh, for an old iit like iit bombay it says the qualification required is not just engineering you are also allowed to write the gate exam based on other degrees like uh, msc and things like that we we'll make a separate video on this but right now gate biomedical examination has relevance for many 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 candidates not just for the well known biomedical engineers point number 1 having said that so the question is so whichever category you are and oh, how do we crank this gate exam right how do we crank the gate biomedical paper uh, in fact my suggestion is you have about 8 months i have put up a video on the self study guide for 3 years old the books doesn't change the concept doesn't change it's pretty much the same thing also give a rough schedule on all that i have put up a video on this self study guide you could take a look at this then let's say you have about 2 months notice i am putting a lot of revision video self study guide says tells you what you need to know where you can find that concepts and information right but what is a bare minimal thing that i need to actually do well in the gate biomedical exam i have i am putting a series of videos on this simplified revision most of the students even including serious students they are going to spend about 2 months right so this series of simplified revision videos is actually internet for them i'm planning to cover pretty much all the subjects and then there is also this category because i have this youtube channel i get some kind of data from what is going on in the country and all that typically students really prepare based on their viewership data this is one week even that's actually not a week specifically it's one day so yeah at least the pvq discussions that i have here might be of some use right i have put up all the solution discussions to previous year first and this 2024 i'll kind of put it up in a month or so okay certainly up well before the gate exam the 2025 exam i'll put up that solution discussion and uh, the question another important question here is hey what is this weightage of this biomedical subjects right i have discussed this many many times before but let me quickly again summarize that information over here let's do most important the bare minimal thing must there is no way out of this this is aptitude based on your inclination i would in fact say math is optional based on your inclination math is am optional to clear the cutoff but math is necessary to do well in the exam because many of you have this kind of uh, bias towards math and some kind of uh, uh, ill feeling not not necessarily positive feelings math so i'm i'm like telling you that you can kind of afford to skip this at least learn some very very basic things and still uh, clear the cutoff and current right now if you clear the cutoff you can actually get something it's like only close to 100 150 students clear the cutoff every year so this is bare minimal 
then we have all this the most important core subjects most of the biomedical subjects are highly 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 important there we have medical image plus sensors and bioinged and then we have this combination right hap biomech biomech and then we have biomet this combination as such is actually very very important very relevant very important highly weighted easily scorable then where you can easily get an edge is circuits electrical circuits and in fact if you look at previous year question papers is circuits is a highly highly weighted subject you cannot afford to skip this certainly need to know the basics so far i have done right hop biomechanics today we are doing biomaterials we have also done circuits i plan certainly plan to cover medical imaging bio instrumentation of course aptitude math and all that some of the least weighted subjects over here yes and does what is actually is a uh, relatively highly weighted but it's quite vast compared to other important subjects here and it's also very math intensive i am kind of clubbing that along with least weighted subjects the least least uh, measurements and controls emnc uh, control syllabus is one line and they essentially ask anything and everything from control measurements some basic statistics some basic knowledge on units dimensions and uh, how do you quantify uncertainty errors that kind of suffices so uh, two three questions not a lot so again it's not highly weighted the least weighted highly inefficient subject according to me is analog and digital electronics what is this i think is showing up i'm using a black ink writing on a black slide right yeah analog and digital electronics yeah some of the students right easy students it might be a cake walk it's quite vast right but you might find it easy analog yeah certainly go for that subject but most of the candidates here e it's quite vast one or two questions show up here and there it's not worth your time for gate preparation or at least that that's a last subject that i am going to worry about is also even some of the instrument instrumentation students again at least the easy questions are all on digital electronic questions you are likely to get it so except for these two subjects most other candidates they don't find it useful so i have that kind of over here yes so this is a quick summary on the gate biomedical exam 